Happy holidays, everyone. I'm Bob Phillips with Common Cause North Carolina. And I want to thank each and every one of you for helping us have a great year in 2018. It was certainly filled with a lot of things that we do representing you in the interests of more open, honest, and accountable government. We had the election, and then we had the work we continue to be on, and that is ending gerrymandering now in North Carolina. So let's take a look back at 2018. This is unconstitutional. It should be stopped, and it should be stopped now. 2018 began with a historic victory in the fight for fair voting maps as a federal district court issued a landmark decision in our case of Common Cause v. Rucho, ruling for the first time ever in North Carolina that partisan gerrymandering is unconstitutional. But we know that's not what democracy is a rigged system where politicians choose their voters. Voters should choose their representatives. That momentous decision could be key to finally ending gerrymandering, not only in North Carolina, but across the nation. In February, Common Cause members, including our Democracy Fellows, joined thousands of North Carolinians who filled downtown Raleigh for this year's HK on J Moral March standing up for voting rights and fair elections. I believe that everybody in my community should show that they care and strengthen them for what the people actually do instead of say or show. Did you know that the, 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 the district line is right here on the street? That same month, we traveled to Charlotte to highlight how gerrymandered districts have impacted that city. We were joined there by Republican former State House member Charles Jeter and current Democratic Representative Chaz Beasley, who have both represented the same legislative district. Together, they walked a neighborhood divided by gerrymandered voting maps and spoke of the need for bipartisan reform. This is why I think partisan gerrymandering is a problem. So you look at all these houses in this neighborhood we're at, and here's a gentleman who's literally his next door neighbor lives in Representative Earl's district, and he lives in Representative Beasley's district, my old district. How many people here really know who their local representatives are? Probably less than 10%. And that's indicative of, of our problem. This is something we can fix. This is something we can work on. Um, and I hope that we can make real, co uh, real concrete and positive change on this issue. I think we have to. With the arrival of spring, our Common Cause Democracy Fellows from seven historically black colleges and universities in North Carolina traveled to Washington, D.C. These young leaders visited Capitol Hill and spoke with members of Congress about the needs of HBCU students in our state. In May, we held our second annual In Gerrymandering 5K in Raleigh with some 150 participants zigzagging along a gerrymandered district in downtown and passing by the state legislative building to highlight North Carolina's need for nonpartisan redistricting now. Voting districts should be set in a way that is fair to all voters of all persuasions. In August, we won another key victory in our fight for fair voting maps as the federal district court reaffirmed its landmark ruling against partisan gerrymandering in the case of Common Cause v. Rucho. The next stop in our historic case could be at the U.S. Supreme Court in 2019. In September, we launched our 2018 North Carolina Voter Guide with hundreds of thousands of print editions distributed to voters throughout the state. And our online voter guide provided information on races from all of North Carolina's 100 counties. We also work with our partners to produce a Spanish language edition of the voter guide. In all, our nonpartisan voter guides served as a vital educational tool for over one million North Carolinians this year. So I encourage everyone to use this booklet, look through it, see who the candidates are. At the start of October, we published our Fair Maps Pledge, asking candidates for the State House and Senate 
to support nonpartisan redistricting if elected to the legislature. Nearly 200 candidates, including Democrats, Republicans, and Libertarians, signed the pledge to support fair voting maps. Gerrymandering is wrecking our democracy. It is absolutely the number one thing we have to do if we're going to fix all the other issues. The legislators and uh, uh, shouldn't be you know, picking their constituents. It's the other way around. In the year to come, we and the people of North Carolina will be sure to hold these candidates true to their pledge to end gerrymandering. With early voting kicking off in October, we work with college students in the Triangle, Triad, and in Cumberland County to canvas their communities with our nonpartisan voter guide, providing residents with important information on the election and inspiring them to go vote. Your voice and your vote matters. Well, one vote can make a very big difference. All right, thank, thank you. you. All right, we're excited. That same month, Common Cause held a series of parties at the polls around the state, including several on HBCU campuses, bringing together voters of all ages to celebrate democracy and walk together to polling places. Thank you for hosting this event and showing that voting can be fun. Woohoo! <laughs> polls have just opened. It is just after 6.30, about 6.40 or so. We're here um, as part of our election protection effort. On election day, our election protection volunteers were at voting locations before dawn and until after dark, working throughout the day and into the evening. These volunteers were crucial to our effort of ensuring that every voter's rights were respected. Everything starts at the ballot box. The air you breathe, the water you drink, the defense uh, of the country, everything starts at the ballot box. So integrity of that process, there's nothing more important. Just two days after the election and in the wake of President Donald Trump's firing Attorney General Jeff Sessions, Common Cause members joined thousands of citizens at protests held simultaneously in Raleigh and hundreds of cities nationwide, calling for protection of special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 election. The message from these citizens was clear. No one is above the law. And this practice of partisan gerrymandering needs to stop. And in mid-November, we filed yet another landmark lawsuit in Common Cause v. Lewis, this time challenging partisan gerrymandering of North Carolina's legislative voting districts. Our state is handicapped when the elections are rigged in a way that's designed to silence any particular group of people. This new lawsuit could make its way to the state Supreme Court and is another crucial part of our fight to end gerrymandering and establish fair voting maps for North Carolina. And this suit is the opportunity for the North Carolina courts to fulfill the words of Chief Justice Beverly Lake that every citizen in North Carolina has equal voting power. So we couldn't have had the year we had without your help. Again, we thank you so much. And we look forward to 2019, and again, with your help, making a difference. We wish each and every one of you the happiest of holidays.